Okay, you wanted to see Will? There he is. Will is right there. I am at the Furball Farm Pet Sanctuary <clears throat> where we are caring for over 350 cats. And there's Will. Is this midnight? All of our cats have names. And all of our cats were former strays. Hi, Roy. Roy, are you hitting all the social media with me? Yay! I like that storm chasing gal. That's a great name. <laughs> hi, Debbie. <laughs> I'm trying to hit all the social media. We're trying to... Hi, Yolanda. And Jesse. And... Oh, I like that scooper. Hey, scooper, you should scoop here. You could be a total professional scooper. Hi, Linda. <laughs> And Sherry, this is so cool. Thank you so much. Yay, Jan. Remember, us Jans have to stick together, right? Hi, everybody. This is so cool. Hi, Denise. So I did find Will. And the cool thing is I went out to the catio to find Will. Hi, Jeannie. Uh, I don't think. Hi, Storm Chasing Gal. You are awesome, by the way. You were on TikTok. Um, I went out to the catio to find uh, the hat trick. That's funny, right? I went out to the catio to find Will, and you know who came up to greet me? Let's go see if he's still there. Remember when I couldn't believe Will was in the sanctuary? Like, he never came in. He never came into the sanctuary. And then when he started coming to the sanctuary, I was super excited. Let's see. Let's see if, if um, Finn is going to come in. Nelly, quit being a Nelly. Yeah, I went. He was right on the other side of the door. Let's see if he's still there. I really, really want Finn to start coming in. Let's, he was right there. Let's see if he's... Finn, Finn, are you still here, Finn, Finn? Finn, oh, you left. Where's Finn? <clears throat> Finn, see if he'll come back to me. Hi guys. Hi guys. Finn, I don't see Finn. Oh, sorry, I almost fell. Finn, oh, look at, he's coming. Do you guys see him? Come here, Finn. Here he comes. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. Look at Finn. Hi, Finn, come here. Come on, come on, Finn. Oh my goodness, do you guys see him waddle like Columbo? Come here, Finn, come here. Do you want some scratches? Come here, you want some scratches? Come here, Finn, come here, Finn. If I come to him, he'll turn and go back to his, to the, um, where he was sleeping on the shelves and I don't want him to go all the way down there. Come here, Finn, come here, come here, Finn. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Isn't that cool he came to me? Oh, midnight. Midnight. Oh, midnight. Midnight doesn't... Midnight. That was not very nice, midnight. And don't you dare hit my fin. <gasps> midnight. Come here, midnight. Well, wow, midnight's having attitude tonight. Midnight, are you having attitude tonight? Poor fin. See, fin's a lover, not a fighter. Fin. And I think Finn knows his name. Finn. Aww. So Midnight is a wonderful, awesome cat right here. You wouldn't know it because he's having attitude. He's just not a fan of a ton of cats. I'm so cold. It's supposed to be like five degrees. Please show your beautiful storm tomorrow for us to fry. Hey, we're supposed to get like 20. Oh my gosh, I'm cold. There's Julie again. <laughs> We're supposed to get over 22 inches of snow to, um, in the next three days. So I'm going to be sleeping over Wednesday night. Isn't this a cool view? Hi, Tinky. I like your name. Julie has one of her kids she called Tinky. Oh, thank you so much for the pate. 
Thank you, or for, for the $50 so we can buy pate. Thank you. We are so low on canned cat food pate. You know what? And garbage bags for that matter. But we are a nonprofit. Our floors are heated. They feel nice and toasty warm. We are, as you can tell, a cage-free cat sanctuary. The cats that we take in are cats that rescues can't take because they are not touchable. We take in feral cats and very um, skittish cats that rescues can't take. These were all strays. They were not owner surrenders. We do not take owner surrenders. Please don't call us to take your pea cats. Please don't take us, don't call us to take your cats because you had a baby or you're moving. Wow, it's getting really windy outside. Wow, Julie, it's getting really windy outside. Um, we are, thank you, Kay. Thank you so much for donating. We are a nonprofit and we survive off of public donations. And we are crazy cat people. We love cats. Can you tell? We have almost 50 wonderful people who love taking care of the cats. If you are interested in volunteering, send us a Facebook message or an email. You're gonna, you'll, you'll be talking with our really cool volunteer coordinator. She's amazing. That's me. <laughs> um, you, would, you would be surprised at the phone calls that Julie takes every single day. We get people who say they need to get rid of their cats. It's just sick. It's like, what? You don't deserve pets if that's how you feel. We understand that there are occasions where you can't take cats. Um, that's where you, we hope that you would rely on your friends and family. Yes, Carrie, Carrie um, passed away last week. And today, we um, made the difficult decision. We brought one of our fur babies in. He had not been feeling well for a week. He did not respond to antibiotics. And the veterinarian said, it's time. And so, Chris Kringle. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, thank you. I hope they can get here on Friday. We're getting two feet of snow. Isn't that terrible? <clears throat> Yeah, can you take my, my cat because my great-great-granddaughter had a baby? Yeah, yikes. But Chris Kringle um, went to heaven this afternoon, and we were very sad about that because we loved him. We, loved, we love all of, our, all of our cats. We would never give up on a cat, ever. We don't ever give up on a cat, but we do listen to the medical experts and so Chris Kringle was with us for a few months and he was loved until the end and he didn't have to suffer and die. He fell asleep and died. And that probably is the best gift we could give him because he was a stray that nobody wanted. So um, today we did take in a cat that the prison here in Fairbolt the inmates were, had been feeding for over a year, and he is um, a sick cat right now, and they called Julie and asked Julie if, they, if she would help, if Furball would help this stray cat. And the officers at the, um, at the prison were able to capture this cat, and they put him in a crate. I'll show you the crate. I know that some of you guys followed me from Instagram and Facebook, but I will show you again if you didn't see that. Um, Ryan came from the prison in uh, Faribault. Uh, the cats just jumped out of that um, garbage can. Let's go meet Ryan. Look at our cats. Aren't they bored? Aren't they so happy? I'll show you Ryan O'Neill. That is the officer that brought this cat. The inmates were feeding this cat for over a year. The cool thing is they make 50 cents a day and the inmates would pool their money to buy chicken to feed this cat. 
and Ryan has been sleeping since he got here. We gave him revolution, we gave him some medicine. He's not feeling well, and we will see what the vet says tomorrow. Poor boar boar, are you bored too? We had somebody on Chris's live critique us saying that our poor cats look bored. And that's not a critique. I think that's a wonderful thing. All right, let's meet. If you haven't met Ryan, he's sleeping. Let's go see Ryan. Hi, baby boy. Hi. Hi, Ryan. So he's battling an upper respiratory. He doesn't feel well. Hi, do you know that you're safe? Do you know that you're safe? Yeah, you're safe. You will never be hungry and you will never have to find a safe place to sleep and it's gonna snow, oh, it's gonna snow two feet this week and he won't have to have a place. Oh, look at that, poor baby. He won't have to find a place to, to um, shelter from the storm. So our floors are heated. And so it's nice and warm in here. And he's going to have all the safety. He literally can sleep deep, deeply tonight. Yep, you are safe. He's praying. What a great cat. So please say a prayer for him. We hope he, the vet gives us good news with him. And look how happy he is. You are such a happy boy. This is the crate that he came in, by the way. They, they um, zip-tied it. Yeah. So he is safe. And tomorrow I will put him in the carrier and I will bring him to the vet. Right, guys. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Brandon. Look at all the cats. Yep, I hope, I hope, we, um, I hope we got him in time. Remember that we are a cat sanctuary and we have over 3,700 square feet of places for our cats to play and run and hide and be bored and have the zoomies. Our kitty litter boxes are on tables so that our backs don't break. And know that we have central back and we suck the hair out of the building. So we hope when you come visit don't think that we're filled with cat hair, although we are. We suck it up and suck it out of the building. That's probably Sandy who has polyps in her nose when she sneezes like that. It's usually her. <clears throat> and this is a good view of our sanctuary. I'll have to turn the TV on for them. They love to watch TV. And the cats love to use the wheels that were donated. Everything you see, everything you see is a donation. Everything you see from the toys, to the bedding, to the toddler beds, to the cactuses, to the food. We make food for them every single day. <clears throat> and um, yes, the cat hair is sucked out um, it's a vacuum, but instead of having a bag, see that box right there? I was going to shut the light off for Ryan. Um, there's a tube, and the central vac sucks everything in that tube, and it goes outside, out of the building, into a great big bag that we dump. So hair is literally sucked out of here. Isn't that so cool? If you have central vac, isn't it amazing? Yeah, I started on Will. Let's go see if Will was, is over there still. So the cats love our floors because, Julie, you're going to have to get temptations. The cats are like, excuse me, where's our popcorn? <clears throat> so Julie is going to get um, temptations. And then we'll see Will. Will's over there on the bottom with his two black buddies. Do you guys see Will right there? Here, let's watch what the floor looks like. I'm gonna sit down. Whoa, look at, they can tell. 
Shake it loud, shake it loud. Look at that. <clears throat> Isn't this so crazy, you guys? Is this not so crazy? You know, the cool thing is, is we have people who are in assisted living that put us on their TV. So if you are watching us from there, we are sending so much love to you. And by you guys watching us, you are sending the love right back to us. YouTube is going to start donating. If there are ads on this, please watch them. Um, I don't know if there's gonna be a community meeting on Wednesday. I don't know. We are getting a snowstorm with two feet. So we are a cat sanctuary. I'm not overnight tonight. I don't see Finn in here. Um, I don't see Finn in the house yet. It took Will a long time before he would come in and get treats. We will go outside and throw temptations out. But we get these guys first. Yes, um, YouTube is going to start putting um, ads on our videos, so please share them. If you like this video, please like it. The more subscribers we have, the more that they will um, be able to financially donate to us. I'm not really sure. We are not sure how it works. All we know is we are trying to do everything we can to take care of these cats and more. Mario likes temptations, but he doesn't come out for them yet. And we've had Mario for four years. Mario is truly too good for us still, but we keep trying. No, Julie's gonna go outside. Look at some of the cats follow, isn't that so cool? Remember that our cats are not your typical cat. They were born outdoors and they are used to living in colonies. That Boris is like, I'm starving. Where's that food, <laughs> Boris? Look at Boris right next to Julie. Boris says he, he's, look at Boris right there. He says he's starving to death. Oh, can you open it? Can you open it again? Here comes Boris. Boris. Oh, I thought he was trying to come through. Isn't that cute? It's cold, isn't it windy and cold? You can keep it open a little bit for them for right now. I didn't turn the heat on yet, so I'll turn the heat on before I leave. Uh, Boris came in. Isn't this so cool, you guys? Don't you want to come and visit? And if you have visited, don't you want to come back? It, this is surreal. This just does something. If you like cats, this is like a high. Isn't this the coolest experience, Julie? I know, poor Boris. He says he's starving to death. He can barely function. <laughs> that big old, big Boris. Now, these guys have had temptations like three times today. So know that they're all getting a bunch. And know that you can dump the whole thing out. Let's just get rid of all of it. Just sure, just like, yep. Um. Temptations is like your cookies or your popcorn. We don't feed it as a main, uh, as their main course, but it's like your potato chips. And for some of most of our cats, you can't just eat one. Can't can't have just one, right? Yes, put us on your bucket list. It's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, Eddie Munster, where is Eddie Munster? Um, I don't see where Eddie Munster is. Huh. Uh, where is Eddie? Eddie, where are you? I don't see Eddie. Oh, is that Eddie? Nope, that's not Eddie. That's Danny. There's Danny right there. Danny looks a little bit like Eddie Munster. Is Anita in there? There's Big Boy. Um, there is... Thunder was adopted, so Thunder is, not, Thunder is not here anymore. 
Oh, there's Eddie Munster right in the right there. Eddie Munster is right there. Yeah, right there. There's Eddie Munster. So um, Thunder was adopted. And while we're sad, we are happy all at the same time. And look at James up there. He doesn't care about temptations. He's over it. Yes, we were super excited that Thunder got a home. Remember that we are a nonprofit, and if you are interested in volunteering, send us an email or a Facebook message if you asked a question or you are watching this and we aren't live anymore. Please send us a Facebook message and we will try to get back to you. We have over 10 people that monitor our Facebook and our, our email, and know that we never intentionally miss a question, a post, a message. We are working hard to take care of all of these cats, and it takes a lot, a lot, a lot of work. If you are um, interested in donating or helping us, go to our Facebook page, and you'll find lots of ways to help us continue doing what we're doing. And we have an Airbnb that will be um, up and running probably in a weekish, two weekish, two weeks. Thunder isn't only a only isn't only cat. I don't know what that means. Sorry, I don't know what that means. Thunder was a cat that we had, and he just got a home. And he just got a home. So thanks for watching. We are going to clean up some more and call it a night. Please hit the like button. Thank you. Yes, the more likes we get, the more that they will put ads on and they will help support us. Thank you for watching and have a great night. We will be live. Hey, we put reels and videos on everywhere. Please share them. All right, have a great night. Good night.